Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I am going to be making this wine glass into a personalized glass for a gift for someone. And I'm going to start off by prepping the glass by wiping it with some rubbing alcohol. Just like so. You want to make sure it's not very greasy. Make sure your hands aren't very greasy. The glue that I'm going to be using is E6000. You can purchase this for $3 at your local Walmart. These little lids I see you see here, these are just various Pringles cans, um, tin cookie can, um, my lens cap, and some uh, a butter lens, lens a, a butter lid. So these are the things that you'll need to separate your decorations that you're going to use on your glass. So today I'm going to be using clear rhinestones iridescent rhinestones and I'm going to be using pearls so what I'm going to do is just get everything separated so I can work with each one accordingly I already poured out a few of these two millimeter this is just so you can fill in the spots that are too little to fit any of your other sizes that you're using I have some iridescent four millimeter I have some iridescent three millimeter all of my rhinestones and pearls are purchased from eBay. A bag like this was probably filled up to the top. It was probably about no more than $10 or $12. For some reason, pearls cost more. Maybe because they're bigger. I would have thought pearls would be cheaper, but these, this bag of pearls is probably somewhere between $17 and $20, but I had about 1000 in here. These are three millimeter pearls. So I'm just going to go for a very classy look. Um, no color this time. I just did a wine glass that had some color to it. You can watch the video for that as well. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So what you want to do is make sure you have something to pick up your stones with. Oh, I forgot. I need one more little lid. I also have these large size 6 millimeter um rhinestones or they're either 6.5 something like that these are also similac uh, lids that i've had for about four and a half years um because my daughter is five now so that just gives you an idea of how long you could keep your little craft things to hold your stones there's also of course some little craft lids that you can buy but why buy them if you could just use something around the house that's just my take on that all right, so I'm going to use all of these on this glass. So no one will ever know you this glass was just a dollar. You know, once I get through with this, it's going to be gorgeous. So you just take your time. You just add a little bit of glue onto your glass, just like so. And once you add the glue, you want to dap into it just a little bit, just to add a little bit of tack. This already has some like putty stuff inside of it. I don't know if you can see that. But sometimes it just gets a little dried out. So I'm just going to start by picking up a stone. Gently placing it on top of the glass. Just like that. And I don't do this in any type of order. I'm not. I just don't. I just pick them up. I pick them up and I just stick them and go. And it's just like... um a multi type of design I know there's some people who can do gradient and just do some extremely wonderful beautiful things I'm not at that level yet I haven't really had the interest to like do um, photos or logos with the rhinestones so to me I just keep it pretty simple I'm always willing and wanting to learn more though. So as you can see, I'm just quickly, you don't have to move quickly because if you're just getting into this, you want to make sure you lay everything straight and firm. You want it to look neat and you also want to have like an idea of how you want this to look. So the look can come together as you're placing your stones. See, so you just want to go ahead and get it started then um, you just keep going around in a circle. That's how I do it. Or, you know, you could do it differently. You could just do section by section. 
I've never done it that way, but that's also a different way. You don't have to do things exactly the way I'm doing them. Do what works for you best, because you may have a method or something that's easier or better for you. And I always say in each video, make sure you have um, plenty of air blowing with your fan. When you're using the E6000, it's very toxic. And you don't want to just be breathing this in for a long period of time. It can take you about two or three hours to complete this. Um, the better you get, it won't be so long. And that time also depends if you are using very teeny tiny rhinestones or if you're using a bigger size. Okay, so move that so you can see. See, so it's getting started, so I'm just gonna continue. and just keep going. Okay, so it's coming together really nicely. And I'm in, I'm trying to hear if I can get finished with this, but I'm just showing you how I'm just putting a little bit of glue in this little area. And I'm switching, moving quickly between uh, lid to lid randomly just choosing um, when it act like it don't want to stick you just remember what I said tap off some glue on it there you go pick it right up press it make sure it's in there firm and just keep going Okay, so I'm moving along. As you can see, I've gotten up the stem. So I just have a little more ways to go here. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished result of this glass. It's so fabulous. It's so pretty. It's so classy. See how you could turn something that was just $1 into to look like something that cost about $50. You can do this. Just go ahead and take your time. Get all the supplies you need. You can do this too. Trust me, you can do it. Just have some patience and know how you want it to look in your mind. So the final step to customize this glass and to really top off the look to really top this look off, I have already cut out my letters on my Silhouette Cameo. This is my Cursive J. Ooh, it's really long. Okay, so this is my Cursive Letter J. And this is the name Jackie. It's gonna go right across just like this. And all I'm going to do is just put that on here, just like that. Cut the extra off the side. Take this old credit card, old gift card, whatever you have. Can you see that? And I'm gonna just go over it and make sure that it adheres from the backing paper onto this um, transfer tape. I like to do the front of it and the back of it as well. I'm going to do the same thing for the letter J. Uh, 
I'll cut a fresh piece for the J. Cut up off just, uh, just exactly what you need. Don't go too overboard with it. Okay. And I bought this. Had this for years now. I got that from eBay. It was only about 10 bucks. And it's so much of it. I had it more than more than two years, I'll say. So I'm going to smooth that over with this as well to make sure it sticks to my transfer tape. So that way I can transfer it very good onto the glass. Is this going to start and where is it going to end? Hmm. Or does it go like this? Yeah, it goes like this. And if you want to know the name of the font, it's um, Silver Sword. Black Sword, sorry. Not Silver Sword. Okay, so that's that. Okay. That's how my Cursive J looks, black sword font. Now we're going to add jacket. Jacket, 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 jacket. Okay. Okay, so if, if you see it's still not lifting all the way properly and it's still on the backing sheet, then you have some more uh, this to do. Because you want it to be an easy peel. Right across. Just like that. Oh, okay. Smooth it on just like this. You take your old credit card, debit card, whatever library card. Good. And you put it off just like bam. Okay. All right. So here is the glass. Um, I think it looks absolutely incredible. So let me just pull it back so you can see the full look. So there we have it. Spelled with two E's. Shout out to you Jackies with two E's. And um, look at all this gorgeousness here. Look at this. Are you serious? What? What? Love this. But this is just the icing on the cake. When you get to this part, you're like, bam. Bam, 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 bam. All right. So this is the whole finished look of taking your Dollar Tree large wine glass to the next level. Take it to the next level with a little bit of um, vinyl. Invest in you a silhouette cutter. The possibilities are endless, honey. All right. And if you want to see another uh, another uh, glass I did, here's another one I did. I did a video on how I did this one too. 
Which one do you like better? This one has some blue accents in it because Barbara likes blue. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, you guys. Thanks for watching my video. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.